later, folks. Say and tea. Dirty damn. Arizona Ghost Riders. Happy National Day of the Cowboy here at Empire Ranch. It's a little damp. It is. It is. What is purpose? We've got a slicker. We're ready to go. Rain or shine. We're tough. Right? Don't be carried away. So, yeah, the fourth Saturday in July is recognized as the National Day of the Cowboy. Dirty Dan and I headed down to the Empire Ranch for their celebration. It seems a fitting place since it's been around since 1876 and was one of the largest cattle ranches in the Arizona Territory. We started off with a little breakfast at the Chuck Wagon from the EZ Cattle Company, serving the best bacon I've ever eaten. Not to mention the coffee was top notch. Due to the constant rain, the Empire Ranch volunteers had to move all the demonstrators and vendors indoors. Gee, how absolutely horrible for them to have to move into a 140-year-old ranch house. My heart is breaking. I'm picking up your sarcasm. Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Ranchers who have devoted their whole lives to the cowboy way taught us about making the tools of the trade and how these very tools were used back then and today. You put a saddle on a horse, you run the saddle up the correct way is run the saddle up on the withers, right. then slide it down and you find the pocket. When you find the pocket, that whole saddle goes boom, and it sits in there. Then when you look at it, which I do before we make the saddle, we put the tree on, see how that fits that particular horse. I was happy to see Mark Sankey from the Mescal movie set renovation there. Looky here. Yeah, well, yeah, howdy, Sandy. Mark. How are you, sir? Doing good. Yeah, how's it going? Well. It's going well. How are all things Mescal movie set these days? Moving along. Yeah. I, I hear you guys I, got the I, saloon kind of I, ready to go, right? I mean, well, it's getting there. Getting we there. got part of the front port re rebuilt. Okay. Lower part. We're going to redo the, uh, the, the balcony part. Uh, the rain has showed us where all the leaks are. Well, I hope to get out there soon. Maybe when it's not so hot. I promise I'll lift a board this time. I really will. <laughs> Just don't fall through the board rock again. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out in the weather, the trainers still put on the horsemanship demonstrations, and close by were some rescued critters for all to see. Well, they were happy to be seen, let me tell you. On July 23, 2005, the U.S. Senate Resolution 138 proclaimed National Day of the Cowboy, celebrating the impact cowboys have had in our country's history. Not only have they positively impacted us, as we've seen on this channel, other countries reenact and embrace the cowboy culture. Yep, this planet is filthy with old westerns. Well, I'm sure glad that Bill Brazelton didn't show up here at High Chaparral. Otherwise, we will surely have no whiskey left. Ah! Take that, you Viking. Ouch! Currently, 12 states have designated it as a paid state holiday. Celebrations include all sorts of events that pay homage to the Western way of life, of which the cowboy played an important part. Hi, I'm Sassy Sally. I'm Asa Hawkins. I'm Joy. I'm Kevin. I'm Eddie Kenberger. And we are the Cowboy Posse. We just want to wish everybody a happy, happy National, National Day, Day of the, the Cowboy. cowboy. Well, howdy folks, and a happy National Day of the Cowboy to all of you from the Chisholm Trail Heritage Museum. All of us here at the St. Louis Iron Mountain Railway Outlaws and Law Men of Life, we want to wish all you out to Arizona Ghost Riders in the Tucson area. Happy Day of the Cowboy 2021. Well folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail.